Last type of balancing that I'm going to cover is hydrocarbon combustion. Now, it's really easy to, uh, to be able to set this up. You just have to know what a hydrocarbon is. Well, hydrocarbon, hydrogen carbon. It's compounds that have carbon and hydrogen in them. And those are generally fossil fuels, and they undergo combustion. When you burn them, well, you can have all kinds of things come off, really, um, because you're never going to have a pure 100% proper combustion reaction. You're going to probably form carbon monoxide, which is very, very toxic, of course. You have to be careful of that when you're burning any kind of fossil fuel. But generally speaking, when we write these reactions, we take for granted that they form two of these major products. Here's what they are. Hydrocarbon combustion does this. You take a hydrocarbon, like methane. Methane is it's probably one of those that you needed to memorize before, and I didn't put it on the list, but CH4 is methane gas. That's a good one to keep in your memory. CH4 gas plus O2 gas. Because to burn something, you're going to have to add oxygen. That's what it's all about. It's the oxidation of this chemical right here. So, burns to produce, and it always produces these two major things that you have to account for carbon dioxide, gas, and water vapor, H2O gas. Well, there you go. That's it. Anytime you burn hydrocarbon, it's plus O2 makes CO2 plus H2O. So, hydrocarbon plus oxygen forms carbon dioxide and water. Now, here's the thing. Why did I do... That sounds a lot like what might actually happen in your own body then. Yeah, because... Glucose is kind of like a hydrocarbon, okay? And when you breathe in uh, and consume food, you're going to be able to breathe out carbon dioxide and water, and in that process, you are making energy in an exothermic reaction to be able to store in your body. Oh, yeah, that's cellular respiration. Okay, CH4 plus O2 makes CO2 and H2O. Balance the reaction by starting at the beginning and then working your way through. Sometimes I jump around a little bit in my balancing because I'm pretty confident about it when I do single and double replacement. Right here, be disciplined, watch. 1C, 1C, 4 H's, 2 H's, put a 2 in front. 2 times 2 is 4. Now here's my advice, stay on this side and then come back to that free O over here because you can put any number you need to in front of that for proper balancing. 2 O's and be very careful, plus, uh-uh, not 1, 2 O's. 2 plus 2, a total of 4 oxygens on the product side. 2 here, 2 times 2 is 4. And now we've got a balanced hydrocarbon reaction, hydrocarbon combustion reaction. Now look at the next one. Butane burns. Now, you need to be kind of told that formula. That one's a little bit trickier. Once you take organic chemistry, and you look at the organic chemistry lessons I've got, oh yeah, you'll be able to do butane no problem. But right now, I will tell you that butane, butane C4H10, which is a gas at room temperature. No chem guy, no chem guy. When I have butane lighter, you don't smoke. When I have a butane lighter, I go like this and shake it and listen, there's a liquid in there. I know, but it's under pressure. It's under pressure in the lighter. If you release that little valve, it comes out as gas. So in the lighter, under pressure, that's a, that's a liquid. But normally at room temperature, it's a gas. <laughs> so plus O2 gas makes CO2 gas plus H2O gas. You always get that when you undergo hydrocarbon combustion. Hey, be careful, will you? I think your teacher might do this on a unit exam or something like that. They'll give you a question where they say, magnesium undergoes combustion. You know what some kids do? Now, this is a little sidetrack, but look, it's important. They'll go, well, there's magnesium right there plus oxygen. And that's going to make, and then they go CO2 plus H2O. Ah, magnesium doesn't make carbon dioxide and water when it combusts. Look, this isn't hydrocarbon combustion. That's just actually an element and an element coming together. And that's actually going to be called, what? Composition, right? Or simple composition. Mg2 positive, O2 negative makes MgO. That's what that forms. Not CO2 and H2O. Because you're not going to get, what are you doing, just inventing carbon on this side when you had magnesium over here. Don't do that. Just be careful. Don't do that. I've seen it. It hurts. Four C's. Four C's. Ten H's. Five times two is ten H's. Stay on that side. 
4 times 2 is 8 oxygens, plus 5 oxygens is 13 oxygens. 13. And then you look at this and you say, ah, bah. 2 times something equals 13. Well, actually, you know, 2 times 6 and a half is 13, right? So that's what you can put in front. 6 and a half. And you're going to say, oh, uh, you got a fraction there. That's not good. Oh, you don't like the way I wrote that? Okay. Well, instead of saying, because you know you needed 13 oxygens, you could go 13 over 2. No, that's still a fraction. You can't do that. Who said you can't do that? That's totally legit, and that's just fine. And if you're going to be doing later on in senior chemistry, you're going to be doing heats of formation equations, you better be able to use fractions. Because if you can't, you ain't going to be able to balance those reactions properly. I know. Your teacher says use lowest whole number ratios in balancing. So guess what? That's what you do. And that's not a problem. As a matter of fact, that's standard form, right? I'm just telling you, is this legit? Is this right? Yes, it's right. Okay. But if you don't like that, what you do is, I always balance it with the fraction, and then you just multiply everything by 2 to get rid of it. So you're going to have 2 here, you're going to have 13 here, you're going to have 8 here, you're going to have 10 there. And now it's balanced using lowest whole number ratio. And that is hydrocarbon combustion.